All right. Here we have a 1957 Admiral transistor radio. It's the model 7M14. And the chassis is 7M1 because there are different uh, styles of case which determine that number at the back. Um, here's the battery arrangement. Um, here's a simple diagram of the circuit. This is a very interesting way that this works. I'll demonstrate that to you now. So here's the battery back off. I put some hot glue on this terminal because it was jiggling around. This is the audio output transformer on, on the other side of this, actually. It's a very interesting design. This is the speaker here. Um, I just, I took it, I put some, I just globbed some glue on there. It really won't do anything if you want to take it off or if I ever want to take it off in the future. But uh, I know I got the, the durest smells in there, but that's all I had. At least it's not Harbor Freight, uh, because it was just rattling around and making some noise. So anyway, this, I actually, by wiping it off with a Lysol wipe, I kind of yelled it a bit, so that was pretty stupid of me. But anyway, that just clicks, oops, that just clicks on. I really feel bad rubbing this. I'm trying not to move it around so I don't get, so I don't scratch up the face. So here's the face of the radio. Um, I have, I'm going to just repaint this grill. It's got some marks, and someone must have been using some green paint with it. If you can, I don't know if you can see there. I've got the, the zoom's really not doing much. Um, I don't know why it's being non-mechanical zoom. Uh, I'm using a cheapo camera that I just had laying around. Here it is, Admiral. Uh, here's the dial. I'll show you how the performance works. I think that we have the downstairs LED kitchen hi-hat lights on, so we may have some interference, but let's see. New York City schools will scrap their entrance exam for gifted and talented programs. Mayor de Blasio... Yeah. A lot of interference here. This coronavirus relief. Of course. I'm gonna go find a spot where there is minimal interference. And I forgot to mention that I replaced I think about three capacitors. Um it, it was just very quiet. It had all the sensitivity there. It was just in the audio stage. Um, works well now. They're not, so it's not all original, but I really don't care about that stuff, really, unless it's like a $500 radio, and my max is really around $100 for each set. All right, thank you. All right, here we are. We got the stand in its little back position. Uh, let's see, this is a little bit better, a bit better of an area. Okay, here we go. So maybe I'll add more to this when it gets darker out and when they turn off the lights downstairs. Uh, you can see a random cord in the back there. Here's the radio. Uh, headphone jack. Works well. Really very minimal scratches. Uh, the dial's in good shape if it would focus this stupid camera that I have here. Um, it is a generally good radio. I use it quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's a nice, nice set. Here's Zuma Radio. Ontario, Canada, and I'm in uh, probably the lowest, most bottomest part of New York you can be in on, on the bottom part of Long Island. So, there you go, pretty sensitive, long, what, 500 miles? I don't know.
conclusion, here is the Admiral 7M14. Uh, nice radio, early transistor, made in USA, which I like. Um, yeah, that's really it. Works well. Um, nice addition to my collection. There you go. And apologies for not uploading in almost a month. Uh, I really just haven't felt like it, and I haven't had that much interesting stuff to record with. So, um, yeah, and sorry for the terrible quality of this video. Um, my cell phone is running low on storage, so I took out a little point-and-shoot camera from 2002 or 5 or whatever. Thank you for watching.